We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the American League Futures and the future stars from the National League. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. David Peterson, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Stepping up now, Robert Poisson. And we are set for baseball and here this we evening. Are for the American League Futures, the shortstop. First offering on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. First pitch, 7 5 Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. 1 0. On the third baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Hey, I know everybody was on their toes right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Leadoff hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. Standing in now, Jason Dominguez. This ball will be chopped foul. Poisson aboard here at first with nobody out. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Runner, going, now the one-and-one one pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Standing in, Alex Kirilov. First trip to the plate for him in this one, and it's a good RBI spot, too. Leadoff man at third with one down. From the belt, the pitch. One out and a runner on third. High in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. And he makes the catch in the corner. And this throw gets away from him. And now the runner will score from third on the Aaron throw. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Now in the box, Nelson Adams. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Here's the pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. The 1-0 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Corey Lee would be next. Two out, nobody on. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Batting fifth, the catcher, Corey. Into the box now, Corey Lee. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch, this is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Into the box now, Nick Madrigal. The second baseman. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Madrigal. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. So now to the plate, Jake Shiner. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One on its way. And it's fouled away. Ready on 0 and 2. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. The AL Futures lead this one three to nothing. Alec Manoa, a right hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Striding into the box, C.J. Abrams. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and oh, the count. to third he's got it throws in time and that's out number one batting second the center fielder 
Corbin Carroll. Now at the plate, Corbin Carroll, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. I uh, got him reaching a bit too far after that one at strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. The one two. Heading out towards shallow right. Kirillov in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Batting third. The third baseman. Alex Bohm. So striding in, Alec Bohm looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now here's the pitch. And no swing apparently. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Hit out towards second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The AL Futures lead it three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Lazaro Armenteros. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. here that's taken for ball two. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Hey. Two and one now. Two balls, one strike. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The first baseman, Nick Prado. In now, Nick Prado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. One out, nobody on. No, that and that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And the pitch. High and wide, two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the 2-1. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. 
as a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Stepping in now, Robert Poisson. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center as they extend the lead to five to nothing. Hey, every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Now back. At the plate, the Jason Dominguez. Jason. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a bunt attempt here. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. I got to count one and two. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting, right fielding, Alex Kirillo. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Alex Kirillo picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Now here's the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Carroll is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. The AL Futures on top, five to nothing. Now at the plate, Seth Beer. He's set to lead off the home no half of the second. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Line drive to center field. Dominguez is right there. One down. Batting fifth. The right field. J.J. Okay. Stepping into the box. J.J. Vlade. Now pitch on the way. Ball inside. Ball. Two and zero. The two zero on the way. Yeah. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. The 2-1 home. I got 3-1. Three, one. three balls, one strike. in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball bases are empty one man out popped him up Lee has a play and he makes the catch for the second out 
That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. At the plate, Cody Hosey. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing, and he pops him up. Madrigal is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We played two full. The AL Futures lead this one five to nothing. Mackenzie Gore, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Top of the third set to get underway. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Nelson Adams. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. At the plate, Corey Lee. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. One ball, no strikes the count. High strike there. It's one and one. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back. Second baseman. Nick. Madrigal. Digging in to try it again. Nick Madrigal. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two out. Nobody on. This is line to left. Beer will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The AL Futures lead it five to nothing. Nate Pearson, the right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Number 71, Nate Pearson. Into the box, Michael Tolia. And his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down five zip here in the early going. Tolia. First pitch of the at bat. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at bat. What I mean is you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee. So as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again. And that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. To the plate now, Michael Bush. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he 
he's keeping it down here and that's a cold strike two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, Luis Camposano. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball and here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now pitch on the way ball three well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The 3 1. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. They haven't been able to no register a hit against this guy. But at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Stepping up to the plate, C.J. Abrams. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. First pitch on its way. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. The 1 1 pitch. Oh. Ball two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Brandon Waddell is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. For the National League Futures, number 44, Brandon Waddell. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jake Shiner. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. The designated hitter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Down and away, ball one. Swings through it for strike number two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. 
And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Boy, this one got ugly early. They were looking to get some innings out of the starting rotation. That didn't happen in this one, lasting only two innings. A lot of outs yet to get from this bullpen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lazaro Armenteros comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on. Fastball misses away here. It's 2-0. Oh. Hit on the ground to third. Right to him. And that's the second out. Now back, first baseman, Nick Prado. Striding in, Nick Prado. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The AL Futures on top, five to nothing. Casey Mines takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Futures, number 74, Casey Mines. Now at the plate, Corbin Carroll. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. First offering on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Mize uses a split-finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working, and I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And that's on the outside corner. One and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Now batting, the third baseman, Alex Bone. Into the box, Alec Bone, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Now back. No one feel it. Seth Beer. Into the box now. Seth Beer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. That misses 2-0. 2-0 oh. to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Has a look. Now the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. a look now the pitch and that misses as well ball four so it's a four pitch walk here now batting the right fielder stepping into the box J.J. Blade, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through 
Yeah, we used to have a saying right here. You would stride to the plate for this A.B. trying to chop nope. wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. First and second now, one man out. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And he misses again, ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on no, ball. That's, that's a that's big no-no. He obviously had to no, work hey. carefully with two men on, but... He did oh, not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Now batting, Cody Hosey. He flew out in his last at-bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. And he falls behind 0-2. Bases are loaded with only one out. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation. But I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. This is foul right side. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Ready now, Michael Tolia. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the 0-1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. In tight there as he's got to turn out of the way of that one. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The AL Futures lead this one 5-1. to one. Tim Cate, a lefty standing six-foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 36, Tim Ready once again, Robert Poisson. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The shortstop, Robert Poisson. Here comes the first pitch. At the ball. The 1 0. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. In there, a base hit. 
Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's now his third that knock of the night. Yeah, talk about having a good yeah. night. Three hits and, hey, he might have another yeah. at bat or two before this one ends. Standing in now, Jason Dominguez. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0 is a fastball taken high for a ball. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Balls and a strike. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ball that just right. Fouled off. First and second here with nobody out. Swing and a liner. Foul. He's set and the one two pitch. Got him. Settling in now, Nelson Adams. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now both runners on the move. One and one to count. Runners are at first and second with one away. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Left side. Scooped up. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Chris Bubich enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the American League Futures. Number 50, Chris Boozer. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Michael Bush. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. 
Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2. Now a swing, and he popped him up, straight up, as this is right around home plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now batting, the catcher, Louis Camposano. Digging in now, Luis Camposano. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to first, and there were two down. So the lineup flips over and digging in CJ Abrams. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long. So it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Line towards center field. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw into second, and he's going to make it there. Barely, as he's into second base with a double. Now batting, center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Into the box now, Corbin Carroll. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Tyler Kohler takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. That's the league future. Number 54, Tyler. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to hit is the catcher, Corey Lee. And leading off for the American League future, the catcher, Corey. First delivery to him on the way. Called strike, a good pitch down in the zone. One count. Here's the pitch. 
And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. On the ground to the right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Madrigal. At the plate, Nick Madrigal. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. The 1-0 doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5-1 ball game. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2-1. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Carroll is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The batter, the designated hitter, Jake Geiner. Striding forward now is the DH, Jake Shiner. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Set. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Daniel Espino enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. American League future, number 15, Daniel Espino. Standing in, Alec Bohm. No hits to this point. The third baseman, Alec. First pitch on its way. Yep, that ball went out. The 1 0. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Two and two. Pitch on the way. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that is down as that could be two bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now back, left fielder. Beth Beer. So now to the plate, Seth Beer. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. No one out with a runner at second. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is into right field, the base hit. 
Boy, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0-2 pitch to your own, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side, not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he bowled his neck and he stayed in there. At the plate now, J.J. Blade As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. The 1 0. It's the outside corner, strike one. One and one. Runners are at first and third with none out. In there, one and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. The one two. Cody Hosey, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three and two. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Now back, the designated hitter, Cody. Digging in, Cody Hosey. He hit a sack fly earlier. From the stretch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Runners on first with one down. One and one. leap here but it ticks off his glove one there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning four to six to three they roll it up to get out of the jam on to the back third tonight stick around on the show Rob Montano is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 27, Rob Montano. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Lazaro Armenteros. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And this is high, a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Nope. That's inside. Just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The three and one pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Digging in, Nick Prado. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Oh, no. 
a one pitch on its way. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because no if batter, it's put in play, three. there's a good, good chance job. it's on the ground for a Real double bad. play. And hey, a strikeout always Whoa. works too. Oh. Rick Jones will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Greg. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Pops this one up. Bohm backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now back, center fielder. Kyle Isbell will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at first. Number 76, Kyle Isbell. Fouled away. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. 5 2 our score as we play inning number seven. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. set and the 2 1 pitch lifted in the air out to center field. Carroll is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Greg Jones is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Number 75. Kyle Isbell will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number 75, Kyle Isbell. Chase Goslin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Chase Now at shortstop, number two, Greg Jones. Leading off the inning, Michael Tolia, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The first baseman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The 1-0 home. Nope. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. The high fastball is in there. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 2-2. Grounded up the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, Michael Bush. 
So coming to the plate, Michael Bush, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard. Foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, that's up there. Oh, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is now good, but pitcher. not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Stepping in now, Luis Camposano. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Your Ronald Marquez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number one, Ronald Marquez. Michael Gigliotti is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Michael Gigliotti. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Ryan Burke will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Number two, Ryan Burke. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The catcher, number 35, Corey Lee. Adley Rutschman will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Number 76, Adley Rutschman. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Marquez was born in Massachusetts. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, and a two seam fastball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 ball game. Hit the other way out toward right field. Lede is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Your Michael Gigliotti stays in the game now after playing. pinch hitting and he'll be patrolling Number right three. field. Michael Gigliotti. Now Ryan Burke, Burke remains in the Number game two. playing third Ryan after entering the Burke. game as a pinch hitter now, in the previous Number half seven. inning. Adley, Adley Rutschman will stay in the ball game, taking over the catching Number duties behind the plate. Adley Rutschman. Benito Perez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom Number half of the eighth. 
Betty Joe. Conrad. Jalen Miller will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. One ball, one strike. Two balls, one strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Ball. Fastball like they're pinching him a bit here it's three and one if you're at the plate in this situation you're only thinking one thing and that is get on base you got three balls it has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger a walk is as good as a knock right here crowd gets up for the three two liner towards second he lays out but he can't make the play and it's through into right how frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy throws out a fillet of fish to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap. That inside-out swing as a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good a swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. the league future, number 12, Hunter. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. That evens it up, one and one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Fouled off. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. To the plate now, Alec Bohm, as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the 0 1. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Number 16, Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Now the 0 1. 
behind 0-2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yanked hard but foul to the right. A runner on first with two away. Another one sent foul. Oh and two here it is. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. 3-2 pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Two out with the man at first. Hit out towards second. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. How about it? Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dad, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, dude. Well, you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Sad Ward enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Ready for another chance. J.J. Blade. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. First delivery to him on the way. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1 0. This is in the air to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. The AL Futures lead it 5 to 2. Jalen Miller will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing center field. Number 12, Hunter. Hunter Bishop is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Bishop. Michael Ciani remains in the game, batting eighth and manning left field. Ciani, now at shortstop, number eight. Ryan Tapia enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ryan Tapia. All set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go is the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. The second baseman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Now the 1 0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Now here it comes. Oh, that's out. Jake Shiner will be next. Oh. 
the 3-1. Three and two, full count. And another foul ball. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jake Geiger. So digging in now, Jake Shiner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. One out, nobody on. Skied into very shallow right. Lede is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Now batting. No one feels her. Lazaro now at the plate Lazaro Armenteros he comes in 0 for 2 thus far first pitch of the at bat Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. To first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. The AL Futures on top, five to two. Your Alec Santiago please. is the man now called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 47. Shea Langoliers will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. This is on the ground over to first. He's right there, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Now back, first baseman, Michael. Now to the plate, Michael Tolia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set and the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Just hung in there on that one. He'll try again, one, two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. 
He makes the throw to first, two down. Riding in once again, Michael Bush. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch coming, here it is. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The 1-1 one, one home. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 5-2, the final score tonight. The AL Futures hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Alec Manoa earns the victory on the mound. David Peterson only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the home team, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base.